Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix and once again I am joined with the lovely Kenzie. <laughs> Hola! I am so happy to be back yet again! Yeah. For a billion times! <laughs> it, it, it's, you've, we, you've been out here for a while now. Well, true. <laughs> yeah. I think four episodes in of Wattpad Book Club, I finally got you in here, so it's, 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 you, you've yep. been here a while, been here a hot minute. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, we went from a, a good lesbian couple, uh, Tess and Allie, to now a bizarre gay couple that we didn't know really existed. We put it on yep. the wheel as a joke, and here we are. <laughs> Wanna turn around? Yeah. Well, what originally happened was, we, we found a Duncan X... Alejandro book and we're like we gotta read this for a video so we put it on the wheel and it landed and we're like alright we gotta go find that book it's yes. someone the author it doesn't say specifically uh, we don't know if it was deleted privated or anything like that but that book is no longer here we never got to read it unfortunately Yep. but we did That's find bad. two discontinued Ella Duncan books <laughs> yep. so you're getting two books <laughs> yes all right, let's see what we're working with today. Drop in. All right, so the first one that we're gonna start reading is more than a friend, and it's really short. It's like two, two chapters. Yep. I I love me a good discontinued book that has Same. one thousand reads. Yep. God. All right. The description reads: Duncan has been dumped twice by Courtney Angwin and has decided that he's done with girls. But after. all all stars and getting dumped by Gwen he starts hanging out with Alejandro but then develops feelings for him but he knows that he won't feel the same but turns out Alejandro is a closeted gay <laughs> oh okay yep I love the cover very nice hand drawn <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> alright well <laughs> I guess we're gonna read this yep all right, chapter one. Uh, don't mind the POV replacer double thing that just happens sometimes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, D. El Duncan A. Alejandro. Just let you guys know, the bowl means not store related on, not related. To, wait, means not story related on with the story. I think that was supposed to be two different sentences. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Do I have a remote nearby for me to flip? Oh wait, I got my name tag from work. We can flip this. <laughs> oh okay. All right. Do you want to be uh, the the spot with my name or the spot with the uh, the pin? Spot with the pin. Okay. All right, and landed on my name. Here we uh, go. All right, let's see how long this is gonna be. It's like two parts in an estimated five minutes. <laughs> I, I woke up feeling squashed and uncomfy in an area I was in, and I realized I was in a balloon, and it smelled like beans. What to do? <laughs> what kind of fucking sense did I just read? <laughs> <laughs> what? I, I'm so confused. Alright, he's in a balloon, and it smells like was, beans. <laughs> what? Like, what? <laughs> I was able to see what was happening as they were finishing up All-Stars. A lot happened this season. I don't want to talk about it about getting dumped by Gwen, getting called a sweetheart on repeat, and getting to j and heading to jail, which I was able to escape from. Walked out- I looked out my balloon again to see where we were heading towards the sun? <laughs> what, what is happening? Wait, so- I'm guessing this takes place after All Stars, where he gets sent to jail because he blew up Chris's, like, condo that was over there. Did he yeah. escape prison with a hot air balloon? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't I'm, remember. I'm, I'm guessing that's was. I thought this was a dream for a minute, but you know what? I guess, <laughs> I guess hot air balloon in in prison. Yes. I hear lots I of. Know. I hear lots of screams, including my own. I thought my life was over, but then thankfully an intern. Yeah, an intern came in to save us with a helicopter. It was like Zoe had won the one million, and then. The oh my god! I forgot in the final chat. Don't they put the contestants in a balloon? Yeah, they do. They so, do. So, so he's just, 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 this is like the, these were probably his last moments. It's like just in a balloon. Yep. 
<laughs> After they found... Oh, yeah, sorry. It looks like Zoe had won the one million, but then the island was shaking and that it started to sink. After they found safish grounds to drop us off on, the intern popped our balloons. We all screamed and those we dropped to the ground and landed straight in the water. I saw Alejandro taking, talking with Heather, something about getting cheated out of one million dollars. I turned to look Ooh. to see Alejandro looking my way. Huh. Hey there, Duncan, he said, excited. CXD. Okay. <laughs> huh? Oh, hey. I was red as Zoe's hair. During season four, me and Alejandro would always call each other. Always call each other. T wait. Would always call each other, I guess, to talk. Play video games. To talk, yeah. Yeah. And he would sometimes come over and watch a movie. The more me and Hum hung out, the bigger my feelings grow. So seeing him had me all kinds of flustered. He's gay. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's definitely he's gay. He's so gay right now. Gay panic. After we were all able to go home, the first thing I thought to do was to call Alejandro. But then my thought would... But, wait. But then I thought how I will tell my mom I'm homosexual. <laughs> Maybe my mom will be chill about it. Mmm... <laughs> I called Alejandro over and told him about my problem. He said, do it straightforward, but slowly. I didn't know what he meant. Me either. <laughs> yeah. He said to give her <laughs> hints daily until the end of the week. I hope this plan works. Day one. <laughs> hey, Mom, isn't this photo pretty cool? What is this? <laughs> yes. I, I mean, don't know. I mean, we are reading NoCo, but this is this is just weird. Yeah, why is there just a random no co pick in this? <laughs> okay, Emma's mom. Um. Uh, Duncan Tarn, what on earth is this? I think his last name. I think this is his last name. That's what the internet said. I think his last name's Jones, but who am I to know? I, I'm pretty sure it's Jones. I'm pretty sure. Duncan Jones. Yeah, oh god. Uh, it, it's a cute picture. It, it's wrong. It's just two guys kissing. <laughs> exactly. How are you, you- Oh, wait. Uh, are you gay? <laughs> oh, no. I, uh, maybe? <laughs> Out of my house. <laughs> now, take your stuff and leave. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. Damn, that was quick. <laughs> right? Duncan POV. Well, that went horribly. So much for telling here at the end of the week. Damn. Damn, that, that is cold. Alright, yeah. Duncan and Alejandro messages. Did you tell her the first hint yet? Yep, and she instantly found out when I told her and she kicked me out. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> no. to hear that. Yeah, shouldn't you vibe check your parents to see if they're, uh, cool? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> before you do this. Isn't that like safety 101 with LGBTQ stuff? Exactly. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> he, don't, don't worry. He, he's just a baby to, to being gay. It's fine. Yep. He'll learn. Okay. Yep, well, he'll he learn. did learn. <laughs> <But> <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, sorry to hear that, amigo. You can come over and stay at my place for a while if you want. Really? Yeah. Thanks, bro. I'm on my way now. And that is the, it, the end of that chapter. Yeah, and <laughs> super the, short chapter. The second and last one. Do you want? Uh, you want to go ahead and uh, <laughs> knock this yeah. shit out? Yep. <laughs> I heard a knock at my door. It was Duncan. Hey, dude. Hey. <laughs> so you got a guest room or something? First door on the left. Okay then. He placed his stuff on the bed and unpacked. I told him where everything was if he needed it, and if he needed me. I would be in the room beside him, and also the capitalization errors are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you noticed that, but <laughs> I somewhat can. It's I'm like the monitor that I'm reading this from is like high up, so I'm like leaning my head back, <laughs> right? So I can somewhat see. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how he's feeling right now. I mean, he was kicked out of the house for having a different opinion in who he wants to be with. I was in my room watching Turtle Drama Island. I was the, I was the episode basic straining. I got to I got to the part where Courtney kissed Duncan. 
and for some reason it made me frustrated as he was my boyfriend or something. But he isn't. <laughs> Do I have a crush on Duncan? Nah. No shit. <laughs> Isn't that like a definition of like getting jealous super easily? Probably. Just like yeah, yeah, dude. I hate to tell you this, but you're you're gay. <laughs> yep, you <laughs> definitely <gay>. are. <laughs> you absolutely are. <laughs> Admit it. Yeah, the gate the gate are right now on Alejandro is go through the roof. <laughs> Yes. The gaydar. Yeah. My gaydar senses are tingling and it's pointing right at this man. Yes. <laughs> Duncan's, point of, Duncan's point of view. I saw Alejandro in his room watching Total Drama Island. I came in and asked if we, if, if we could watch it together. He said sure. Just running in I could already tell it's cringe. <laughs> nice. I'm glad the author knows. Yeah. He, he admits it. Or she does. We got to the last episode in Owen one, sadly. Well, 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 that was a good season, right, Duncan? Duncan? I looked to see him resting on my shoulder. I smiled and then, and then went to sleep as well. I. Pointed, oh. I don't. Th <laughs> Bro, I ran ahead and I should not have. What is this? <laughs> Wait. Uh, read it. Read it. <laughs> I did not notice that at first. What the? I, oh! Oh, God! Oh, oh no! <laughs> oh! Whoa! I was not ready for any of this. Me <laughs> either! This is just- this is just labeled as ongoing. <laughs> oh. What? What the heck? My, no- Okay, my brain just skipped ahead for a second, and then I looked down at the rest of the stuff, and I'm just like, whoa. Yeah, I mean, it was like, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was, this is a crazy I shit. I was not ready for any of this. <laughs> well, skip it right over. I woke up from my dream. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm going to attempt to read this. Keyword, attempt. attempt. Okay. Let's cover that shit up. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 Stop teasing me. Mm, harder. <laughs> I woke up from my dream. Lately, I've been having dirty dreams, even since I really like Alejandro. Try to get over, but he's just too perfect. Who's perfect? I realized that I said that last part out loud. Uh, this bed. Yes, yes, this bed is perfect. It's so soft. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. This is so <laughs> I'm so glad this is the last chapter. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Phew, <laughs> phew, that was close. I need to tell him I need to tell him how I feel, but I'm too nervous. And what if he doesn't and what if he doesn't feel feel the same I I spelled something good coming from Alejandro's kitchen. I dashed downstairs. As quick as quick as I could, and there it was, ramen noodles. Hell yeah, I fucking love me some some ramen noodles. Same, especially the spicy kind. No, nah. like the spicy, like nah. microwavable ramen. No, unfortunately, I can't agree with you. That I'm I'm so white, I can't handle spice like that. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. I'm a sucker for spicy food, but. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully I'll get my spice tolerance up someday. <laughs> yeah. You probably will eventually. Yeah. You'll get there. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I quickly took a bowl and filled it with ramen. I grabbed the se I grabbed the season and I demolished them. Alejandro just sat there staring. I took another bowl and headed to my room. I was bored and didn't know what to do. What to do. I, I was looking for a good channel on his on this TV, but but they only had childish shows, so I just put on Spongebob. Nice. <laughs> I eventually got bored and decided to play some Call of Duty. Alejandro wanted to join in, and of course, I beat him every round. Then, then we played football, and I won, and I won. We played 2K. He won that, he won that one. We decided we had, we decided we had to see who was the manliest in the most manly game ever. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Wait, 
Super Mario Strikers is not a manly game, all right? <laughs> it's not a manly game. Come on. Call of Duty was more manly than that. Exactly. My God. <laughs> I thought they meant like arm wrestling. Like when I th when I think a manly thing, I th I thought like they were gonna play like like actual football or like yeah, arm wrestle football, or something. Yeah. Not Super Mario Strikers. Mario Strikers. <laughs> Fire inspectors charged. Yeah. Charged only the manliest men play Mario because we're manly. Man, I must be really manly then. <laughs> I guess. Me too. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> If you don't know, Mario Strikers is a Mario Sucker game. It is actually pretty intense. Okay, yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. We don't need to know about that. Yeah, we're done. We, I know. I know how the game works. <laughs> I I won one. He won one. We decided that we're both manly, and we decided <laughs> to hit the day. <laughs> oh, good night, bro. Good good night. Right before we went to bed, Alejandro kissed my cheek. I felt. Like I was going to say, I quietly said yes, 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 and then went to sleep. You know what? I think it's fine leaving it there. I don't think this needs to be updated past 2021 anyway, so. Yeah. Well, that was this book. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? <laughs> uh, I was really not expecting that last chapter. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know where that happened. <laughs> Me neither. I mean, I guess I should have been. I guess I should have read the title more carefully. Dirty thoughts. Yeah. I. That was. That was like nothing. It. it just like. Mmm. Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Why even put that in there? I don't know. They could have replaced that with like. With like anything. They'd be like, I was staring too hard, and be like, mm, he's too perfect. He's like, what was so perfect? See, exactly. it still works. Just, yeah. Just take this out. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, well, you know what? I'm fine with this book ending like this. It's fine. It's wonderful yeah. like that, actually. Well, yeah. We can't have Wattpad Book Club end so quickly, so... Here's this other book I found. <laughs> it's called I'm Better For You, and... Ella Duncan, which I like a bunch of books popped up actually when I typed in Ella Duncan, so So maybe we should try ship names next time we uh <laughs> we, we, Yes We try to find obscure couples, but here it is seven parts Yep <laughs> Uh three of which are actually chapters but well, five are chapters Yep. All right, so the description reads there are enough of these. I don't owe total drama or any of these characters. This isn't accurate to the shows or timelines of the series. Great description. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll start at chapter one. I guess uh, I can I can start reading okay. as uh, <laughs> since you had to read that one part. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duncan's point of point of view. I had moved in with Alejandro about three months ago. I think. I lost track of time pretty frequently. I was, it was all going good until Corny's incident happened. What incident? <laughs> Wait, what? Is it Corny's oh. incident? Yeah. Oh, I see. Me and Al wanted to surprise her for her birthday, so we drove all the way to her house. May I add that she lived over seven hours away? Seven hours? And you're dating seven? her? Seven hours? What? Are you on crack? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Seven hours. That's a long drive. That's I'm way to... too long. That's like if I started from where I live right now and like drove to like New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> That's a long drive. <laughs> it really is. I can get to probably Georgia within seven hours. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> She told me that she was having a party with Gwen and a few others, so we went over to her house. She was there alright, there, there was only one other car in the parking lot. What? <laughs> I knew Courtney wasn't very popular, but geez, I was expecting like at least ten cars. The lights in the house were on, but I heard music coming from the backyard. <laughs> Courtney told me she had a pool, so we checked there. Oh, their, their point of view. 
As Duncan and Alejandro quietly made their way to the back of the house, they heard water splashing around. Yep, she's in the pool, Duncan said with a smile, holding the gift that he had bought her tightly in anticipation. Alejandro could tell that he was excited to see her. That lasted all of 20 seconds. There she was, corny, but with another man. <laughs> oh, no. Well, he, she got, he, he got cheated on. <laughs> Damn. I, th- th- ten bucks said it's Scott. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely it's, Scott. Yep. Duncan had considered <laughs> moving closer to Courtney, so that way their relationship wouldn't be so long. But he didn't, didn't expect this. Tears formed in his eyes. Alejandro grabbed his friend and pulled him into a big hug. He couldn't stand seeing Duncan like this. Duncan had always allowed himself to cry, comple- completely forgetting about a loud crier he was. Who's there? <laughs> Courtney shouted. She wrapped herself in a towel and made her way over to the side of the house. No one in sight. Man, we fucking dipped. We like, we like, faded away. <laughs> yeah. But there was a rat box crushed on the ground. She picked it up and gasped. For my special girl, Courtney, love Duncan. That's, that's horrible. What the fuck? Dude. How many of these have we read that like, have some kind of like, cheating? Didn't the, the um the Bridget ex Jeff didn't like didn't he get cheated on? <laughs> yeah, by by um, Zoe and the, and the other and the Duncan ex Courtney one. Oh yeah, you're right. That like several several cheating. Like, yes. Yeah, we can't escape this shit. Maybe this just like <laughs> what total drama fans like. I guess. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, chapter two. Do you, do you want to go ahead and uh, take over? Yep. Oh. All right. Here we go. All right. Third point of view. What? What? What did he? What did he? What did he do wrong? Of course. Of course, their relationship wasn't perfect. But he. But he didn't think. It, but he didn't think it was so bad that that she would cheat cheat on him. Fuck. <laughs> Duncan whispered under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> they, they had stopped at a hotel to spend the night, and agreed and agreed that they would head out about about ten the next morning. Duncan had flopped onto the bed. He had grown tired from all the crying. Alejandro sighed and rolled him over so he could actually lay down. A a one bedroom what what what, what, what a one bedroom was all that was available. All the doubles were taken. Of course, they didn't mind. It, it was just for the night. Alejandro would never say that, but he was actually looking forward to it. Oh, is oh. he gay or something? <laughs> Getting some chemistry here. God, I love that trope of like they go to check in a hotel room and it's like, oh, there's only one room available and it's it's a single bed. Yep. Ooh. I love that trope so much. It's my favorite. Same. <laughs> so good. <laughs> They had ordered pizza, and luckily, the hotel had 24-hour room service. They both decided to get into their pajamas, which, which weren't really pajamas, just boxers. <laughs> Duncan wore a tank top, though. As, as he was pushing through the channels on the TV, it, it clicked that he had dropped the presents on, at Courtney's. Oh, God! Oh, God fucking damn it! <laughs> Duncan yelled in his thoughts. Just then, his phone started buzzing. He was hoping it wasn't who, who he thought it was. And boy, wasn't he disappointed. Courtney was trying to call him. He was hoping he was hoping she didn't know, know he was there and just wanted to call him to celebrate her birthday or something. He picked up, he picked up his phone and hit answer. Hello? Duncan, were you at my house earlier? Duncan t- took a while to respond. No, why? Well, I found a box that said it was from you at at the side, at the side of my house, and whoever the delivery person who it was must have squished it. He he didn't want to lie, but he had already told her he wasn't there. He 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 was he was he was compl he was complimenting. What 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 whether he was complimenting whether to tell her that he knew about the Duncan. Jesus, don't don't yell in my ear, Court. Sorry, I thought you didn't hear me. Nope, I heard you. Um, Courtney? Yeah. 
Did I do something wrong? Huh? What do you mean? I saw you with him, Courtney. Did I do something to make you not care about me anymore? Duncan, what do you mean? You saw me? Me and Alejandro drove all the fucking way to your house just to celebrate your birthday with you. And all I see is you and... All I see is you with another man? It's bullshit. Dunk, he hung up. He was pissed. Ooh. Alejandro had just come, come out of the shower with his hair and pigtails. The outside... The outside made, made Duncan burst out laughing. <laughs> man, what what mood swings this man has? <laughs> <laughs> right? He was just so pissed off, and, then all, and then now all of a sudden he's laughing. Yeah. <laughs> Man's got bipolar issues. Got, my god. Yes. For real. <laughs> Alright. Alejandro's point of view. Let's see what he thinks. What's going on. <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I decided to take a quick shower. I had heard Duncan arguing with someone, so I assumed that he got a phone call. He did sound pretty pissed, so I wouldn't ask him about it. I had wrapped a towel around my waist and put my hair in pigtails, and with, and so that way my hair wouldn't get tangled in my sleeve. As I walked out, Duncan just stared at me. Two seconds of eye contact and he bursted out laughing. <laughs> what? I said. Do you have something against my hair? No, it, it's it's just you look like a Latina version of Zoe. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny. <laughs> Top tier <is>. joke. <laughs> he said laughing. <laughs> he was laughing so hard he started wheezing and tearing up. <laughs> Watching him be so happy laughing, it makes me happy. I blushed slightly at the, at the sight. <laughs> He's so closeted, <laughs> it's not even funny. Right? <laughs> oh god. I walk over to the bed and sit down. I grab my phone and look at my notifications. 30 texts from Heather. Good lord. Oh my god. Damn. Oh, of course. Oh, and a missed call? From Courtney. Huh, weird. Maybe I should call her back. Hey, bro, amigo. I was going to get dressed. Should it... You should put something... Something... Oh, I guess on the TV. I was like... 9N on the, t on the TV <laughs> while you wait. He said simply, he simply says okay. I grab my underwear and phone and walk into the bathroom as I hear the show start playing on the TV. I shut the door and quickly dial Courtney's number. Uh, Alejandro, are you with Duncan? Uh oh, not good. Act chill. <laughs> uh, yeah, why? <laughs> I just called him, and he said you drove him to my house? I did. He wanted to see you and say happy birthday. Oh, uh, happy birthday, by the way. What the fuck did you guys see when you got there? The lights were off, so he went to check the pool, and he saw you in a bikini with another dude flirting with each other, and then we left. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you- why are you yelling at- why are you yelling at him? You are the one that was fucking around? <laughs> Exactly! You don't get mad at him because you got caught in 4K. <laughs> yeah, what did you expect? So, I'm getting like a ton of bad vibes from you right now, so I'm just gonna. Does Duncan want to break up with it? Yes! Uh, yeah, <laughs> because he freaking cheated on him! It, I, it wouldn't surprise me, Chica. You cheated on him. God, I'm such an <laughs> idiot. Thank God Courtney can admit that. <laughs> exactly! She's not completely delusional. Mm -hmm. Thank gosh. <laughs> As I was about to respond, she hung up. I put down my phone and got dressed. I walked out to see Duncan watching Cartoon Network. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, hey, Al. Hey, Dun Dunkaroo. Da damn, I haven't heard anyone say Dunkaroo in forever. <laughs> Dunkaroo? <laughs> okay, never call me that again, he says, glaring at me, in a joking way. I just laughed in response and laid down beside him. We watched about three episodes of Gravity- Gravity Falls is it on Cartoon Network? Are you stupid? Yeah. <laughs> it like, is it? Yeah, it's a Disney show. It's like Disney yeah, or, or like Disney. Disney XD. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the- This is stupid. This is- This is wrong. I'm sorry. I can't enjoy this anymore. <laughs> Me neither. In silence and I finally said something. Hey, are you going to break up with Courtney? He's, he just <laughs> stared forward as if he wasn't sure. I think so. 
He's sick, Biley. He better. He better. Yes. Seriously. Dude, this okay. goes out to anyone out there. If, if your significant other cheats on you, you leave their asses. No, exactly. no arguing, alright? You leave. You find someone better. <laughs> Just leave them. Yes. Good. Please. Alright, uh, this looks pretty damn short, so, but it's a lot of big paragraph, so. Okay. Alright, go ahead, my guy. <laughs> Alright. Third person. The two, the, the two sat in the bed quietly, silently. Alejandro stared at Duncan with wide eyes. Sure, it seemed like a reasonable thing to do, but he didn't think it would actually happen. That's when Duncan grabbed his phone off the side of the table and started typing something. He seemed pissed but satisfied at the same time. He, he sighed as he sank into the bed, smiling. Alejandro was confused. First, Duncan says he wants to break up with Courtney. Then he smiles like two seconds after being angry as shit. Alejandro? <laughs> Duncan says after noticing how long Alejandro's been staring at him. Huh? Oh, yeah? Al says as he snapped, as he snapped out of his confused daze. You, you were staring, bud. He, he blushed at the realization. Oh yeah, sorry, he said with a light chuckle. You've been staring a lot lately. Are you alright? Duncan asked. You, with slight worry in his voice. Of, of course. Alejandro, Al Alejandro was appreciative. Alejandro was appreciative of, of his friend's concern. But when it came, but when it came to this, he, he wished Duncan would shut, would keep his mouth shut. <laughs> see, see, Bomingo. I'm all good. Might, might just be zoning out because I'm tired. The dude, yeah, the dude is so closeted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is some closeted ass behavior right here. Yes, for real. <laughs> uh huh. That's a load of shit right there, Duncan said with disbelief. Al couldn't tell whether he was talking to himself about the show that that was still going going for no reason, or if he was talking to him. Okay, dude. Look, look at me, Duncan says. And that's when Alejandro notices the concern is genuine. Al turns his head back to Duncan and gets slightly startled by his vibrant, greenish blue eyes. Okay, Alejandro, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I want to have a serious conversation with you, but your hair makes you look absolutely ridiculous, and, and I can't take you seriously. Yeah, yeah, you still got the pigtails going on. Right. Like, imagine, like, like the, yeah, like the, the two, like, braids on each side. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's, that, that's a funny image. Right. <laughs> he said with the straight face. How the fuck did he say that without Al thinking? Al thinking was w was cut off by Duncan's laugh. It was obvious he was trying to be quiet, but that, but that sure as hell wasn't happening. Alejandro laughed along and, and pulled his hair ties out of his dark brown locks. He 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 he, he put on he he put on of of them. On the side, on the side table, but but took the but took the other and put his hair up in a ponytail. Once Duncan had finished his his laughing fit, he he looked back at Alejandro. Oh, okay. Now now maybe I can talk to you. He said with a smirk. You you weren't talking before. Thought thought you were. Alejandro said back with with just as much sass. You're lucky I love you enough not to slap the shit out of you. And they both and they both started laughing. But when Al played the words back in his back in his head, he he picked up one thing that wasn't normal, and it gave him butterflies. You're lucky I love you. Oh. You love me? Oh, no. Ooh. oh snap! This is the final chapter. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god! I hope they ended it good. All right, let's let's see. Why are they? Who? I uh, side note. I hate it when writers just put a block of text. Just space it out. You you know how to write. You yeah. wouldn't you wouldn't read this in a book if it looked like this. Exact. Yeah, me neither. Like it's <laughs> it looks weird. Yeah. Like it's hard to read. It's so easy. You just go in, press enter. <laughs> like exactly. a bunch of, bunch of times, just press enter, and it'll look so much better. Trust me. Exactly. <laughs> Not that hard. All right, let, let's see what, what we're ending this chapter on. I'm, I'm so sad. Our, our couple. 
<laughs> it's gone. <laughs> oh, rip. All right, third person. You love me? Duncan sighed, almost in a sad way. Yeah, you're my best friend. Of course I love you. You've been there the whole time. Well, almost. Not when I was in prison. Hey, I visited you as much as I could. They didn't... They didn't just let you visit every day. Alejandro explained. I know. My point is, even though we were never the closest, you were usually there for me. More than Courtney was. Duncan muttered the last part. But again, he wasn't a quiet person. Duncan? Did you really want to talk to me about but before? Oh, what did you really want to talk to me about before? The now interested Alejandro asked. Can you blame him, though? Wouldn't you be interested if the person you like said they loved you? I guess not. You know? That would have my attention. <laughs> right. Uh, it's hard to explain, I guess, Duncan said. Really unsure of himself. Alejandro, being a loud bastard he is, <laughs> made his move. He pulled Duncan oh. into- wait, where the fuck did it go? Pulled it into a short but sweet kiss. Duncan's lips were soft and tasted like mint. Why mint? Pro oh, probably from the toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm glad he brushes his teeth. <laughs> yes, thank goodness. <laughs> Once they Always pulled- brush before you kiss. Yeah. That, that's not what they teach you. <laughs> they yep. have a stupid TikTok I saw where it was like- it was like two guys doing the challenge where like you- you throw a piece of paper in between two people and you gotta kiss like like catch it with your lips and if oh. you miss then you kiss each other so like they draw the paper they stare at each other like turn away and like one like throws a mint in his mouth and one of them like puts chapstick on and they turn back and they kiss oh my god that's what I'm imagining right now <laughs> bro uh, <laughs> once they pulled away they were kind of they kind of stared at each other Faces as red as tomatoes. Alejandro enjoyed it for sure, but Duncan was confused. Why did you do that? Alejandro was shocked at Duncan's words. He thought he would have enjoyed it. What? Uh, Alejandro felt like it was a mistake. Duncan had just broken up with Courtney, and he was already trying to make moves. Yeah, yeah. Well, he just he just ended a relationship, dude. It's not healthy to go like right into another one. Exactly. Exactly. This is too- this is too fast! Yeah. <laughs> Duncan saw the sadness in his friend's eyes and he pulled him into a hug. Duncan did enjoy the kiss, but he was confused. He never had questions of sexuality, truly. And he never felt true attraction to a man before Alondra. This is so gay. <laughs> yeah, this is the gayest thing I have ever read. Yes. <laughs> Why is it that every time I read a fan fiction with two guys in it for the Wattpad thing, it always is, <laughs> it's always a, someone I had canon to be bi and then someone I had canon to be gay in a, just in a yeah. relationship. It's always like that. I don't know either. Oh god. This is... I kind of, I'm kind of the same way with that too. Yeah. I don't even know why. <laughs> Dude, same thing with the girls. One one of them I yeah. had can to be lesbian, the other one I had can to be bi. It's, it's yeah, just exactly. how it happens. Exactly. Alright, where the fuck did I leave? <laughs> oh, here it is. But he did enjoy having Al around. He thought about a relationship with him would be would be like. But that's probably because he just was just like Justin. We just, I didn't expect Justin's name to be pulled into this, but here we are. <laughs> what? Just, Justin. Yeah, I didn't know Duncan had a thing for Justin. All right, put okay. that in the cannon. <laughs> Just really good looking, but there was something else. Alejandro was nice to an extent, and there wasn't just, and it, and wasn't just picked to be on the show because of looks. He was a player back, in. Wait, back then, sure, he, he got his heart broken just like Duncan, and has his heart, and has broken hearts just like Duncan. The hug lasted a bit longer than anticipated, and it grew a bit awkward towards the end. They stared at each other's eyes in a satisfied s silence. Duncan slowly moved his face closer to Alejandro's, finding it am amusing how pink his face turned as he got closer. After flashing Al a quick and smug smirk, Duncan pressed his lips against the other man, the this one lasting longer and was truly passionate. 
After parting to take a breath, Alejandro took spoke in a quiet voice, just loud enough for Duncan to hear. I love you too, Duncan. Romance! <laughs> <laughs> this, this was some romance right here. Yep. Very. Whoa, okay. Well, I think like the next part was like, I'm not doing this no more. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm glad they wrapped it up at least. I, I would have sued if we read this and it was a cliffhanger. <laughs> Same, absolutely. Oh my gosh, like the last, uh, the, like that Don't Duncan and Cordy one where every chapter had that unnecessary cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> like they bump into someone and guess who it is? Yes. Oh, that was so annoying. <laughs> that really was. So, uh, what would you think of the two books that we read? They were very interesting. Yeah, to say the least. you're right about that. I like the one that was labeled mature that we just finished reading. Had nothing mature Honestly, in it. Honestly, yeah. But, Honestly, yeah. Yeah, Same but here. but the one that wasn't labeled mature had that one moment. <laughs> that was so weird. Like the mature one didn't even have that too much like dirty stuff, but the first one was like <laughs> it just added that for no reason. <laughs> <sighs> God, I should have drank for this one, like, actual alcohol. <laughs> Same. Oh, God, well, I don't know if we'll ever read this ship again. If we ever find a good book, we'll add, we'll make sure to add the ship back to the wheel. We need to find more cursed ships like this. Yes, I agree. Yeah. We need, <laughs> we need some chaos. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, like, like that- makes it fun. Yeah, like that, uh, brick x lining. Like, yes. that was a really good book. I would just that never... so good. Yeah, I just wouldn't ever thought those two would be written together like that. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, so... Hopefully we find some good ones. But, yes. uh, but now... Hopefully. It is time for us to spin the wheel. And, uh, see how screwed we are in next recording session. <laughs> Yeehaw. Not, you know what time? As long, well, I already moved off of here, so we don't have to worry about repeats. So, I'm hoping for learning to love. Also, that uh, uh, Bridget X Jeff was good. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. We get to continue the book. Yay! I've I actually finished reading. Um, the I think the rest of the book. And I'm not gonna lie, it's actually pretty good. Oh, so, I cannot wait. Is, yes, this is gonna be you're good. gonna love it. It's so good. So I'm guessing it uh, is not... Well, I think... It's, I forgot, it's just labeled complete, right? It doesn't get really graphic. <laughs> uh, a lot of uh, graphic... I think so. Okay, that's good. Well, yeah. we'll figure it out next time. <laughs> yep. But uh, if you guys would like to read these two books and support the authors that wrote this, uh, I will have their books linked down below, and you can go right to their author page and whatnot. See if they read anything else. I know one of them, at least, they wrote one of the L.L. Duncan books, and then they wrote a Mario character's ex-reader. I, I shit oh. you not. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's just what happened. <laughs> yep. So, uh... Yeah, well, if you want to read that, too, go go for it. I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Alright, well. This was this was exciting. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited for this one. Yeah. Looking forward I, to it. I, I, for some reason, this couple is very underrated, even though they're the only Total Drama Island couple to actually survive, like, and actually Honestly, be established. Yeah. Like... You guys are selling my, my girl, Bridget, short, bro. Just Right. She's awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess next time you see uh, some good old-fashioned me and Kenzie on the screen, you know what fucking time it is. Unless it's an older video, then you don't know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, my name is Phoenix, this is Kenzie, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!